Yay, children, I'm here and I have a surprise for you. Oh, you read the title? That means you know the surprise is three new mods. The first two are simple, and then we get to the one that actually counts. So the first two are commands patcher and case commands. What these do is basically, this bugs in Minecraft Forge, where like if you type like that, it thinks you're trying to type the command slash AT, if slash AT is a command, and it tries to run it, which is just terrible. I don't know why they thought that would be a thing. But it's not, so therefore we fixed it. Because if you want to run a command, you put the slash. And the other one, case commands, means that if you accidentally type an uppercase, the command is still going to work. It makes commands case insensitive. Yay! Let's get to the real mod now. Alright children, now you probably clicked on the video for if you made it this far, but please, please do watch the whole thing. It's probably going to be like three minutes and like having like a really high watch time really helps me if you want to see cool stuff. There's a real video like with like cool coding stuff like tomorrow. But yeah, okay, so we type slash keystrokes. We get in here, we have keystrokes v6 created by Skier LLC. Isn't that great? See, that's my company, right? I, I just like to flex that. Just kidding, I didn't make that. I think Asbeth did. But see, so you can turn it on and off. You can show your mouse buttons, right? You know, the usual stuff, all this. You can change your chroma or change your colors, right? Yeah, I just love chroma, right? Uh, change it right, left click, you know, that just like does that. Um, but then the new in V6, you can show your FPS or not. That's cool. Someone asked for that. And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. So I put on the Trello and like eight months later, we finally do it. I know, right? How amazing. And you can also turn off the key background since if you don't want like the key background. You just want like the actual key things. You can do that. Yay. And uh, what else can you do? You can move it around. You can change the scale. Or no, I'm going to move it back. Okay, so. Besides that, we can also uh, change the fade time, but we need to turn on the key background for that. So fade time fast, like goes fast or slow, all right? Now we have custom keys, right? So this is one of the very requested features that I think came in 5.0 that I did like a long time ago, but that video got a lot of views. So I made an update. I didn't, I told someone to make an update, then I paid him, right? That's how that works. But so you see this, look, boom. So you can like move these around, you click on them, boom change it. Uh, if you want to add a key, you just click add key and then it adds like a default A key. You can change the key that it actually is. So I'm going to make this the, uh, the O key for some reason. I don't know how I wanted it to. And then you can change the type so you can make it like thin like this or like just like the space bar looking thing. Right? Yeah, that's cool. It's kind of lit up because it uh, is selected, but you can also delete it. Boop, gone. So yeah, that's that's Keystrokes V6. Thank you guys for watching. There'll be like a good video tomorrow, like the bad ideas or the cursed mic around. Something similar to that, like the newer style that I'm doing. We'll have that tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day.